What is up YouTube? These are my first impressions of the Ultra Torrent 6. These shoes were sent to me for review by Ultra, but they're not paying me to make this video. If you've been following my channel for longer, you know I'm TD Miller. I'm a big Ultra fanboy. For the past few years, I've been reviewing Ultra shoes and comparing the models together. I got in contact with Ultra and they sent me this pair for review. They're not seeing this video before you guys. Everything I say in this video is my honest opinion. The good, the bad, the ugly. So let's get into the video. If you like anything what you see, how about you tap that like button or subscribe to my channel. It's the only way for my channel to grow. Plus then I know if I should make more videos in the future. So the Ultratron 6, they were released last summer, kind of at the same time when the Escalante 3 and the Ultra Vanish Tempo were uh, released. And that's why I didn't get them back then. I really like the uh, Escalante line and I also like the, the Vanish Tempo. So they really have use for the Torrent as well. I really enjoyed the predecessor, the Ultra Torn 5, as well as the Torn Plush 4.5. The Ultra Torn 4, before the 4.5, um, actually had a less stack height. So when they went from Torn 4 to Torn 5, they bumped the stack height from 26 to 28 millimeters, and the Torn 7 next year will be bumped up to 30 millimeters. I ran about 500 kilometers in the Torn 5, and I really enjoyed them. And it really feels like Ultra took everything I liked from Torn 5 into the 6 and made them better. They feel comfortable straight from the box. I can slip my feet in, the laces are extremely elastic, so I can get quite a good fit. I, I can pull them quite tight or loosen them up really easily. The heel tap flare looks a little odd and I was kind of afraid that would bump up against my, the back of my ankle, but it, it's actually really comfortable. It's hard to see because of the black inside, but um, on the inside it's padded up here, but down here there's less padding on the inside. So when my feet are in there, my ankle is really locked into place quite well. And then I tighten the laces and there's no heel slip whatsoever. I can feel this little bit of air here, but that doesn't bother me while I'm running. So I'm really amazed about how good the heel lock is in this pair. They also Ultra's standard foot shape. So between the widest original foot shape and the slim line. And I'm a big fan of the standard fit. My feet aren't exactly really wide, so I fit in all the shoes. Um, but I think that the standard fit they let my feet splay out a little bit. Also, when I go for a long run, my feet tend to swell up a little bit. So it gives me a little bit more wiggle room. My toes can really splay out and it's, it's really comfortable even running long distances in them. And that is exactly what I will be using Torrent 6 for. Just like the Torrent 5, I like running my slow, easy, uh, easy days, just long runs. Anything that I don't need to think about, uh, 20, 30 kilometers, whatever I feel like for that day, I can really slip them on and they will be comfortable. The Ego Max midsole is really nice and cushioned. I have the impression that it's quite springy. It gives me enough energy return. I don't feel like I'm sagging away. Every step I take, it really is a comfortable shoe. I will be making a comparison video with the five because I'm sure you guys have a couple of questions. But in this video, I'm primarily talking about the six. The upper is quite nice. It's a nice mesh material, quite sturdy. Won't break easily, I think. I'm now running in the cold weather and my feet stay nice and warm. I do feel the air come in, so it is breathable. I'm curious what it's going to be like in the summer though, but I have to wait a few months before the warm weather comes back to Germany. But not everything is perfect about a shoe and I want to talk about the tongue again. The Torn 5 was notoriously bad. The edge of the tongue would be quite hard, it felt like cardboard almost, and it would cut into the front of your ankle. A lot of people needed to cut that part off. I usually wear high socks anyway, so it didn't really bother me that much. I saw so many pictures of people with bloody ankles because of the uh, sharp edge. Fortunately though, they improved that, so it's not as hard anymore as with the Torn 5, but it still isn't perfect. I feel it rub against the front of my ankle. After a kilometer or two, it is gone, it doesn't annoy me that much but I really feel I can do better. Take the tongue of the Rivera or take the tongue of the Escalante and it's already a lot better than this. Even the Torrent 4.5 Plush had a better tongue. So that is really something that uh, I think they can really improve with the Torrent 7. I decided to get a size 10. I know that the Torrent 5 was quite short. So many people need to size up half a size. So with Torrent 5 out of 10 and a half US, this is a size 10 and I'm happy with my choice. So you can just take your regular running shoe size and they will fit true to size. I don't know if I still need to mention this in my shoes, but Ultra is famous for their zero drop or balance cushioning. So there is no drop from the heel to the front. That's exactly the reason why I only run in Ultra or only run in zero drop because I used to have an injury and I feel that the zero drop as well as the wide toe box helped my feet um, heal. So these were merely my first impressions. I've really done like two runs in them at the moment. 
leave me a comment down below if you have any questions about the Trine 6. I'm happy to talk about them. And in a few weeks, I will hopefully come with a full review. Now that you've made it this far in the video, how about you subscribe and like this video? It would really help me out. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.